All right, this video is all about the crop module. So I'm again here on this photo of the waterfall that we took in the last course, and I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. And now that I'm here, we'll go to the crop module, which is the squares and the arrows on the far bottom right. I'm going to tap that. So that's showing you that this is a crop and rotation module. And so there are a number of different settings that we can deal with here. We're just going to start and learn this from the top here. So at the very top left in that menu bar, we have the flip option. So that will flip on the vertical axis. So you can see that that's now a mirror image. Go back to the way it was before. And then we have this little rotate button and that will rotate 90 degrees. Okay, the button on the right will actually let us change our cropping aspect ratio. So right now we have a free crop. If we go down and we grab a handle in one of these corners, then we can drag any way that we want. And we can change the aspect ratio to where we want. But if we tap on that first button on the right, this will give us the option to change our aspect ratio. So first we have original, and that means we will always keep the same aspect ratio. So no matter how I drag this now, it will keep the same aspect ratio that this was taken at, which looks like it was taken at a four by three. Freeform was what we were on before. Square, a lot of people like this for Instagram, so no matter how you crop it now, it'll always be a square. And if at any point you don't like what you've got, you can always hit reset at the top of the screen. We have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is great if you're going to put this in film. And you can always choose where this check mark is, kind of in the middle of the screen. You can choose if that's going to be 16 by nine vertical, which is nine by 16, or horizontal, which is 16 by nine. And you can go up and you can drag the picture around inside of that frame that it's made for you. Then there's a 10 by eight, seven by five, four by three, five by three, and three by two. You'll notice they don't have a four by five on here, which is the max size that you can use in Instagram and still use up the whole space. So I'm not quite sure why they don't have that one, but you can always do a free form to try and get as close to that as possible. They don't let you set your own aspect ratio. So you have to choose from the presets or free form. So those are the only options. So let's go back to original so we can see some of the other aspects of the crop tool. Why we'll reset this photo and then we'll tap on the aspect ratios to get out of that mode. And remember we have the three dot menu here which will let us go into other options. And then down at the bottom, we have our different tools in here. So first we have our straightening tool. And so as we drag this, it will actually rotate it. But this is for more subtle adjustments than the full 90 degree rotation that we saw earlier. And so that will cause different crops depending on how we rotate it. You can always hit reset to get back. So for this picture, I really have too much down at the bottom here. But before I crop that out, I'm not sure this needs to be straightened, but its perspective needs to be adjusted. Often when we shoot something with the super wide angle lens, we'll need to make some small perspective adjustments to it to try and make it look not so wide. If we swipe to the left here, we'll get to the vertical adjuster. And so this will allow us to adjust the way the vertical aspect of the picture looks. And it causes things to crop, so you can see it's got the frame there of the original setting size. And as we adjust this, it's straightening it out some, but it's going to crop off some of those mountains. When you leave it for a second, then it will make the crop actually happen. Likewise, there's a horizontal adjuster, so you can change the way that that perspective looks. I don't think we need to change that one though. So now let's go back over to the straighten. And let's just see if we need to make any straightening adjustments to this. Since there aren't any like horizon lines or man-made structures in this, it's hard to tell if it's exactly straight or not. There's nothing to really guide us on that. So you always want to crop for aesthetics, right? And so I'm just going to crop this in to get rid of some of this in the bottom. We don't need all of that sandiness. And then I'm going to drag the photo down a little bit. So that we bring in a little bit of the sky there. And you do see that grid when you are cropping, and that shows you the rules of thirds. So let's say we wanted our waterfall to be on one of our thirds here. For visual interest, we can bring that in, like so. I'm gonna try and set this to a regular aspect ratio, like a four by three, just to make sure it's good there. And then when I'm ready and done, I can go ahead and I can hit done on this one. 
Now a nice thing is even after we've saved our edit, we can actually get back in and we can hit the edit button and we can get this revert button in the bottom right, but we also get the ability to recrop our photo. The information from our photo is actually still there saved on our phone and we can recrop, re-straighten, whatever we need to do. So it's not permanent as long as it's still on the phone. So go ahead and crop one, at least one of your photos, become familiar with the crop tools, and be aware that as you crop things, you are losing pixels. So if we zoom in here, you can see this is getting uh, more pixelated. It's not really more pixelated, it's just we have less pixels that we're displaying in the same amount of space. So go ahead and make some crop adjustments. See what you can do with at least one of your photos for cropping. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll be talking about the light adjustments.